Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it has been a while since I have uploaded a video. Basically, I have been working like crazy on a couple things. First of all, it was finals week um, and I was working a lot at my job, but mostly I actually uh, have just been doing a lot for the giveaway. But <laughs> I couldn't get the giveaway video up until I had the art done. So I needed to get the art done and then I was recording it and then, yeah. So um, this is, well, okay, first of all, thank you guys so much. I'm not going to talk about hitting a thousand subscribers too much because I am going to talk about it in the video, but this is going to be, this is a picture for the giveaway that I'm doing. This is going to be the third place prize. Um, well, it's going to be part of the third place prize. Um, and don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, so I wanted to film these videos because I needed to have well, I needed to make the art because I couldn't film the giveaway video without the art being made. And then I had to edit these videos and school has just been crazy. But I'm excited because I finished yet, well, really today. Yesterday was my last day, but I have my final review today, like my portfolio review of my years long work. Um, and I passed, so super exciting. Um, and now I'm on summer vacation, which I'm so excited for. <laughs> I just, I need it. But... That said, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the picture, just kind of start out with. So um, the picture is a Copic marker picture. I'm using bristle board as per usual, and I just wanted to draw something floral and something kind of fun. And I also really wanted to work with some sort of scrapbook paper or something. And um, so that's what you saw me doing in the beginning of the, the video is I'm going to draw this and then I cut it out and stick it on the background paper and kind of add some washi tape and stuff. Also, I know my head is in the way right in that like earlier portion, but I think I'm getting better at it. I took some advice from a, a commoner who said, um, with art by Karen e. Haley said to like try hanging a bead. So I did that. So I think my head is in this video a lot less than usual and I don't think it actually obscures the picture <laughs> so yay but yeah so I wanted to do something floral and something with a mixed media so that's this I also wanted to do like kind of fun hair so I just gave her like a really big long thick braid I didn't do any fan art for either of the um, giveaway images because I didn't want to do something that maybe someone wasn't like they, d they don't like that and then they got some, they were like, okay, cool, I won fan art of Frozen and I hate Frozen or something like that. So, um, it's a, an original art piece. Um, and yeah, she's just going to be holding flowers and stuff. So, nothing too special or exciting in that sense. Um, working, let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, um, my little candle, it went out in this portion and it's going to magically light later on. Um, I have the ability to do that. I am a firebender. It's great. <laughs> no, um, so right now I'm just lining it using a Micron, not Micron, Copic fine liner. Um, same one I always use in point one. Oh, what else? What else? How has my life been? My life has been good. Things are really, really busy and I'm really, really excited for summer to start because I have so many plans and ideas for the channel and just for my art and I'm just so excited. I think I'm gonna get some prints ordered soon and start selling prints. So let me know if you'd be interested in that and let me know what you would wanna see prints of because um, I can definitely do that. Uh, one of the things, going back to the picture, I. Um, doing, I, I don't know if I've done this in my other videos, I think I have, I don't know if I've explained it, but I almost always start out my artwork, whether it's watercolor or Copic marker, with a base shading of either purple or blue or some color that kind of fits into the color scheme that I want to do. And the reason I do that is because it really helps make the picture unified towards the end, it really, and it gives me a good, like, overall feel of where the lighting is coming from. So. If you struggle in your art with lighting and remembering light sources and stuff like that, I would recommend putting in a base layer of shading before you get to even around to the colors. I don't know. It helped me. I have had um, a couple people asking me if I am going to be doing a brush um, overview for watercolors. I am going to be doing a brush watercolor brush overview for watercolors. Um, I said in my last video that it was going to be up by the end of April. I am still going to do that. I <laughs> um, it is the 27th of April right now as I record this, and that's when this is 
should be going up. Um, and so I need to film that <laughs> in the next couple of days. Um, but I should be able to do that now because I, like I said, I'm out of school and I actually do not have a job anymore. Um, well, I do have, I had two jobs. Um, and I'm no longer at my main job, which was at a restaurant. Um, I'm looking for a new one, but I'm now I'm only at my second job right now, which is only a couple, uh, like 10 hours a week working graphic design. So, um, it's actually going to be pretty cool. It was kind of unexpected, but expected if that makes sense. Um, unfortunately the place that I worked at just wasn't doing that well. Um, and so they decided to move on and try some other things. Um, and I wish them the best. They were, I, I really loved the people that I worked for and I'm really sad that I don't get to work there anymore, but I actually think it's going to be a really, really good opportunity for me. Um, I have a couple opportunities lined up that I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to jinx it, but it could actually be really cool. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that might pan out. I'll let you guys know if it does. Um, and the other thing is I think it's going to give me so much more time to work on my art and I have, like I was mentioning earlier, I have a bunch of really, really big plans. Um, I'm going to get prints started. I also have been binding my own sketchbooks recently. I have started um, binding sketchbooks in old book covers and I'm going to start selling those. Um, I also want to start making some sketchbooks, uh, handmade sketchbooks with hand-drawn covers. Um, I love bookbinding. Uh, I haven't really mentioned it or talked about it on this channel a whole lot, but I have been bookbinding for a while. My mom was always into it, um, and I just got really, have, have finally started getting back into it, and I want to do some artist books and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm getting my website sorted and up. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Hopefully there'll be some exciting stuff coming soon and hopefully you guys will like it. <laughs> I think you will. I think there'll be some fun stuff and um, it'll be good. Let's see what else. I'm going to Comic-Con soon and I'm going to die. I am so excited. I'm going to Denver Comic-Con. If anyone is going to be at Denver Comic-Con, I don't know if any of my followers that like don't know me in real life um, live in Colorado but if you're gonna be at Denver Comic Con please tell me like I would love to meet up uh, like meet some of you or whatever but I'm gonna be there for all three days and oh my oh, I can't even because okay I'm a huge huge Doctor Who fan I actually want to do some Doctor Who fan art for the channel soon but Amy um, Karen Gillan uh, who's Amy Pond is gonna be there and so is Rory and I'm just like I'm going to die. I was just like, I ah, they weren't there when we booked the tickets. Like when we booked the tickets, there weren't too many big names. I mean, there were some big names. There's Carrie, Carrie Ulls, who was Wesley in The Princess Bride, which I am super excited about because I love that movie. Um, and a couple other like big names, but since then it's just really grown. Um, and Samwise Gamgee's gonna be there, and I'm just so excited. I want to ask him like, you know, his opinions on potatoes. I'm not gonna do that, but um, I'm 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 really nervous. I've never like. I don't know. I'm just like nervous and excited. I've never actually been to a convention before, uh, but I'm really excited. Uh, I haven't done my costume yet. We're not 100% sure what we're going to go as because I'm going with my sister and my friend and her sister's going to come for one day as well, but she's not actually going to dress up. So we're going to dress up on a different day. But um, so if you have any suggestions for um, character like group costumes that three girls can do, please tell me because we're really like stuck for ideas other than companions or maybe you know like the TARDIS and um you know a Dalek and something else um but we're trying to think outside the box but it's just been really hard there's not a lot of female characters in the fandoms that we all like but I don't know I'm excited so if anyone's gonna be there let me know um cut it out and this is kind of like sticking it to the scrapbook paper and everything um I really like the idea of doing this kind of stuff. You know from my previous videos that I do like mixed media work a lot. You know, I, I, I almost always use my Prismacolor pencils with my markers or my watercolors and stuff. So I really like the idea of working with um, different types of paper. I think it might be interesting to even draw on scrapbook paper. Um, I do want to do a sketchbook uh, video or whatever where I draw a sketchbook cover. So let me know if you want to see that. Speaking of sketchbooks. <laughs> Um, I had a request in uh, the comments the other day and I don't I don't think I could reply to it I don't think that they had replies turned on but I might have just not replied to it yet because I'm really behind on replying to comments right now 
and they requested a sketchbook walkthrough. The last sketchbook walkthrough I did was almost a year ago and I have not done another one since then because I have not completed a sketchbook since then. <laughs> I am terrible and I like never finish sketchbooks or even get halfway filled with sketchbooks. I just change them all the time. Um, I have I have like three current sketchbooks I guess and none of them are filled but they do have some work in them. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a sketchbook tour even if they're not full and it's just like three or four unfinished sketchbooks because I can absolutely show you my current sketchbooks that I haven't shown because they're not filled. Um, they're just not filled and they're not finished so some of them have like two drawings in, some have 15, some have you know whatever um, but if you would be interested in that I can totally do it um, just none of them are filled and I may uh, and I'm still drawing in some of them so some of them may show up again in a later video where if you know if I ever finish them which is highly unlikely so yeah just let me know what you think about that if you'd want me to do that because I, I can absolutely do it so yeah the picture is pretty much done now getting close I added some lace work type detail with a white gel pen um, to the blue background just to add some visual interest against the flowers and then I went back over with um, you know my black ink pen to darken up some of the lines and cover up any parts that I got white gel pen on and I felt like I needed some sort of border or something so I decided to add some washi tape around the edges to kind of finish it off because I felt like there was a lot of space over her head um, and I think that really really helped that problem and it made it feel a lot more finished in my mind so I was really happy that I decided to do that so yeah that's pretty much it uh, thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you would like to win this picture don't forget to participate in my giveaway um, that video will be up shortly thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day bye guys